Imam al-Ghazali was talking about, he is talking about two fundamental desires within the human uh, being. One of them is the stomach and the other is the genitals. And he's saying that if, that these, if we can master these, then we become masters of ourselves. If we can't master these, then we're slaves to ourselves. Now for a man, those relate to, uh, you know, one of them relates to their desire for women. You know, zuyina uh, and that's one of the things now that I is equally as applicable to women as well in relation to men right I mean I think that that what is being said there can be equally applied uh, for women in terms of men in relation to men although men definitely uh, have a more difficult time right in these matters than women one of the, and this is changing in the modern times, you know, particularly in this country. But that is not something that has traditionally been the situation. Men uh, are are uh, are weaker in these matters. In fact, it's very clear. He says in the Quran, da'ifa," that man was created weak in relation to women. That there's the the women have a, a strength that men don't have. And the Prophet sallallahu said, for instance, that that a woman's uh, capacity for sexual enjoyment is actually greater than a male's and in, in one uh, by 99 parts and he said except Allah has has made modesty so uh, overbearing in a woman there's a modesty that Allah has placed in women that he didn't place in men right and this is why it's quite rare in, in cultures all over the world you know uh, I mean, you don't find women traditionally uh, doing a lot of the crude things that men will do. بنيات غيب يباركنا قلبا كقطن رقيق حنان يزن ستبقى